Hi! In this video I want to show you how to use my hit counter manager. The first thing you gonna do is to um, open GitHub and download the software from the website. Readme file and um, to download the software we just um, head to the release section where we can find all the releases I already have created. In this case I use the uh, latest one which is version 1.4. There are two download options. You can choose a setup executable or download a portable zip file. In this case I just download the portable zip file, save it to the desktop. Okay, here it is. I just unpack the file. Uh, you can place it anywhere on your computer. In this uh, folder you find all the uh, files which are used for generating the output, uh, the images, the executable itself and a save file. To start the program we just double click the executable and uh, here we go. You can see that you can select different uh, profiles You can go to the settings dialog where you can uh, configure your hotkeys. They are working in game, so you don't have to switch out of your game. And the other two settings at the bottom are for the uh, generating the output, but at the moment we can leave it as it is. Heading back to the main menu, um, we can uh, click on save to save the configuration to the XML file. It's automatically uh, saved also when you exit the application. This XML file can be used to um, save and restore your settings or your profiles or your hit counts uh, anytime you want. And yeah, the next thing we have to do is to open OBS and configure our output. In order to do that, we have to um, use the CLR browser. So I create one. And the next thing is that we have to configure the URL, which is not a HTTP file, it's just a local file. So we copy the path, enter it and choose uh, output layout. In this case I choose the numeric one. I set up some information about the size. and. Uh, I recommend to use FPS like 3 or 10 because uh, the file does not change very often and it saves some CPU usage. Okay, and here it is. So I just place it here, um, change it size and whatever you like. Uh, you could scale it. Okay, so uh, whenever you change anything at the um, application, it automatically generates the output, which is shown by the OBS. And um, yeah, you can choose the buttons on the top to um, do your splits and your hits, and you're selecting personal best or resetting your run. You can also use the um, hotkeys here, or when you are in-game, just hit the keys and the counter do anything at the background. I have also created uh, two other outputs. One is for uh, no death runs and one is for um, no hit runs, the real no hit runs. So it's just the uh, cross and the uh, check marks. And yeah, you can just play around and see how it works.
here I show you uh, no death. The only difference is that um, for the output generation that in this case the crystal stage um, does not have a cross sign because um, the end runs when you're dead actually. So you can count hits um, in the background without showing it on the output. In case that uh, your shortcuts does not work in the game properly, you may switch to the synchronous or the asynchronous um, key capturing. But in the most cases, asynchronous should work. Okay, so as a last step, I show how to create a new uh, profile. You just click new, enter name, and then you can um, enter your split names. I use the first boss, second boss, and third, whatever. And yeah, actually that's it. If you have some ideas how to improve the program or if you encounter some issues, just go ahead and leave me a message and I will have a look on that. Okay, thanks for listening. Bye bye.